Hi, this is Walter at the club, and today I'm going to talk about the backhand slice. A backhand slice is very useful because you want to do something different on the court, making your opponent see a different kind of ball. So you don't want to hit the same kind of ball every time. A flat ground stroke, a topspin ground stroke. Hit a slice and make your opponent have to bend down low to try to pick that ball up. The other thing that's great about a slice is it can help you defend well. If your opponent hits a ball that pulls you off the court on your backhand side, you can run over there and slice and then recover because the ball's going to get to the other side of the net slower with underspin. The other reason you want to slice a ball is when you get a short ball and you are approaching the net to hit that short ball approach shot and get into the net. It's really difficult for your opponent to pass you when the ball's staying low to the ground. Here are your three technical tips for the backhand slice. Number one, make sure you have a really good unit turn in your continental grip, a great pullback position, and make sure that your hands separate. So the first one, continental grip and unit turn. As soon as you see that ball coming towards you, and you've made the decision to hit a slice backhand, start to turn sideways, lining your shoulders up with the ball. So imagine a, a line, a straight line from behind your, your back shoulder, through your front shoulder, and through the tennis ball. That will get you turned sideways correctly. Number two, the pullback position. So pull your racket back with your left hand, if you're right-handed, the left hand on the throat of your racket, you're gonna pull it back like this, keeping your hitting arm straight and touching your chin like this on your shoulder. You're also trying to get that 90 degree angle back here with your racket and your arm and your strings will face up like this to the sky. So this position right here, also known as the power position because you will come down on a high ball from that position or you'll go low under the ball to create underspin. Number three, make sure that your hands separate after you make contact with the ball. In South Africa, the coaches always said, do the banana shape. So it's shaped like a banana. Here we, we talk about the U shape. Either way it works great. A lot of pros even just go straight down to really forcefully hit a, uh, a hard slice, especially off a high ball. But for the most part, try to get a U shape or a banana shape when you hit your slice backhand. Make sure those hands separate like this. So the left hand is counteracting the right hand. That your shoulder blades come together like this after you hit every slice. And then you'll get good balance. And you'll notice a lot of the pros, their right hand or their right arm and right hand and the left side are the same height from the ground up. So they, they get great balance. So those are the three tips. Uh, write those down, think about those so that when you're back at the club and you're taking lessons again, that we can work on your backhand slice. Here is your trick challenge this week, trying to spin your racket on your finger. So the, the trick here is you wanna make sure you have a shock absorber in your strings, right there. Once you got your shock absorber in your strings, Take your right hand, if you're right-handed, or left hand, if you're left-handed. Your middle finger will, will go like this, and I'll come closer to the camera. So the middle finger is like that, so the two strings are like that on your finger. And then up against that shock, shock absorber. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your other hand on the grip, and then you spin. And then you just try to keep it going like that. So that's how you do the spin your racket on the finger trick so that you can do this when you're back at the club impressing your your friends so there you go that's the trick of the week